Hello students, this is 1.36. A particle A moves in one direction along a given trajectory with a tangential acceleration omega t is eta. It is a vector dot tau unit vector. Where is a constant vector considering in direction with the x-axis, figure 1.4 and tau is a unit vector considering in direction with the velocity vector at a given point. And how the velocity of the particle depends on x, provided that its velocity is negligible at the moment t x equal to 0. At x equal to 0, particle's velocity is negligible. It means at x equal to 0, v is 0. A particle a moves in one direction along a given trajectory with a tangential acceleration omega tau as a dot tau, where a is a constant vector considering in direction with x axis. Figure is given. Tau is a unit vector considering in direction with the velocity vector at a given point. Find how the velocity of the particle depends on x, provided that its velocity is negligible at the point x equal to g. So, as just a diagram is clear, hai, tangential direction is represented by unit vector tau. Unit vector, it is a unit vector only represented in direction of velocity. And a vector is a consistent vector along x axis. This a vector is along x axis. So, for making problem simple, if we consider j as the direction of y axis and i is the direction of x axis then this a vector can be written as a magnitude and i unit vector according to diagram and tau cap tau cap if this angle is considered as theta then tau unit vector can be written as cos theta i unit vector plus sin theta j unit vector this is tau vector cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap this is a vector and this is tau vector so clearly Tangential acceleration omega tau as given omega tau tangential acceleration is a dot uh, tau unit vector. So on solving this, we will get this dot this and this will be a cos theta and i dot i one i dot j will be zero. So omega tangential is a cos theta. It means omega t is a cos theta. Tangential acceleration can be written as d v by dt. So it is a cos theta. Tangential acceleration dv by dt, rate of change of the speed of the particle dv by dt is a cos theta. Now this dv by dt can be taken as dv by ds into ds by dt. dv by ds into ds by dt, it is a cos theta. And this ds by dt is again a speed of the particle. So v dv by dt, v dv by ds equal to a cos theta. And this implies that uh, V d V, according to this equation, we get V d V as A cos theta ds. And now from diagram, ds is the displacement travelled along curve. So for, if we make a small triangle in this path, we will get the picture like this. It is dx, this is dy and this displacement along curve is ds. So, this distance travel ds is dx and dy and pythagoras by pythagoras we can obtain the relation between the three and since at the given moment this angle is theta so ds cos theta can be taken as ds by the diagram ds cos theta equal to dx because uh, dx is the x component of ds with angle theta so ds ka cos theta component dx so if we call ds cos theta ko dx so ds cos theta dx hai. it means v dv will become a dx now and now integrate both the sides. This is a constant, so can you can take it outside. So by integrating v square will be ax. The limits of x are from 0 to x. And that of velocity from 0 to v because at x equal to 0, velocity is negligible. It is negligible to v. So v square by 2 is ax on putting limit. V is equal to under root of 2ax. So this is the way to solve the problem. First up acceleration or tau ko i j ke term mein represent karte hain. V tau ka value calculate karte hain. And then it's called dv by dt, rate of change of speed is tangential acceleration, whereas rate of change of velocity is total acceleration will apply. So dv by ds into ds by dt is a cos theta. This ds by dt is again a speed, v dv by ds is a cos theta. So v dv is a cos theta ds and cos component of ds is dx. So cos theta ds cos theta is dx. On solving this, this is the answer. v is equal to root 2x. Thank you.